Oh, hey, I took a, I took a little nap. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the HBM series. Here we talk about all things healthcare, business, music, and of course, lifestyle. If you're new, would like to say welcome. If you're returning, would like to say thank you for your support. Welcome back. If you don't know, my name is Anita. And today we'll be diving right into our um, health observances for the month of September. So, our health observances for this month of September, we chose the heart health month and so of course um you know the drill you know ask your um physicians your care providers to do the right things to keep your heart healthy um keep your heart in track when it comes to personal things health things and of course you know um so many things in life are a joke love and the matters of the heart definitely can't be one of them so we'll take a short break we will be right back. Stay tuned. Our, our case study today is about a 25-year-old lady who um, is in the hospital. She needs a blood transfusion and she does not have a healthcare advanced directive. And so advanced directive is one who tells, who, you know, dictates what, what should be done to you um, when you're, in, you know, when you're not able to in your place, you know, like when you're incapacitated or, you know, you're drugged out or whatnot, whatever the case is, you know, nonverbal, whatever the case is, a health advanced directive is the one that's supposed to be, you know, saying what's doing, just like a wheel, you know, like when you're dead or whenever the wheel dictates, you know, what goes to who and how, what should be something like that. And so in this lady's case, she does not have one. But then she has two people in her life, important people in her life at the, at the hospital with her. And, um, you know, her mother wants her to get a blood transfusion. She needs blood desperately. And her mother wants her to get a blood transfusion. But the husband says, no, no way, Jose. My wife is not getting a blood transfusion. You guys can do everything to save her lives, uh, her life, whatever, whatever, um, Probably maybe before they got married, it, it was something that was overlooked. So, hey, married couples, we're getting married. This is something that you should think about or talk about or arrange before you 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 um get married. So, probably something they didn't um, pay attention to before they got married or even look at before they got married. But, hey, they're in this situation now, and she um, needs blood desperately. Her mother wants them to save her daughter's life desperately, but her husband is like... <laughs> Do what you want. My wife is not getting blood. She doesn't want to be infected. Um, he doesn't want his wife to be infected or whatnot. So who should who should they listen to? So the wife or the mother? Um, please send your um, take to hbmseries at gmail.com. We really appreciate your input. We will review it the next video that we um, post here. And I do want to say thank you to um three people actually i'll say five actually who um four and then one that's not really um member here but of course um subscriber rather four people who checked up on me and said i hadn't uploaded a video in a month what's going on and stuff like that thank you so much and um for checking on me um, i do not take it for granted at all i really appreciate you guys and so so send your text to hbmseries.com and um so today <laughs> we are going to be talking about um bad habits and so it's okay to talk about the bad things that we do uh, so i did do a lot of research when it came to um when i was trying to do this bad habit thing and i found out that some things i didn't even know were bad habits are bad habits and so let's dive right into um our bad habits or bad habits that we could all be doing and we don't even know it First one I'll be talking about is, um, you know, it's, it's some things we all know. Some, some of the things they're common, some we don't even know. The first one is not drinking enough water. I'm sure, you know, not people, people wouldn't see this as a bad habit, but you know, not drinking, um, enough water. We're supposed to be taking at least 3.7 liters of water a day, um, for men, 
and 2.7 liters of water a day for women. I'll repeat that, men, 3.7 liters of water a day, and for women, 2.7 liters of water. Everything we say here is fact-checked, proven to be true, fact-checked, so don't listen to naysayers, all right? And so, yeah, so um, drink water. Water helps you to stay hydrated. Water, I mean, of course, 40% um, or more of the water in our um things in our bodies of our, our bodies made up of water so we need to stay hydrated um of course if you're not um hydrated you, you become lethargic you become um you know weak you feel funny so drink water and the second one will be <clears throat> um listening to naysayers actually <laughs> i didn't know that this was a bad habit i just thought it was something that you know you shouldn't pay attention you know it was something that you shouldn't be you know paid attention to but you know i found out if you google you're going to find out yourself that listening to naysayers is a bad habit so um what are who are naysayers i mean we all we all know what naysayers are um in some cases they don't just they don't just think you're worthy they don't just think you're good enough they don't just think you're you know they they, they want to warn people on facebook social media they want to warn them about you they want to um Force friendship on your coworkers, on your managers, and your they want to just squeeze themselves into any way that's that's your they know you're existing or your relationship. They want to go there. They want to mess it up. They want so things like people that don't just think that you should be existing. Even people that I'll say naysayers are if people equal to your uh, people who if if left to them they don't want you existing at all. Those are that's a killer. Like you know, like. They don't want anything good for you, or for you, or to you, or not. They just think you should be dead. That's probably what they wish you dead. They they, they don't think they even some of them may have altered it that you're not gonna live long, you know, something like that. So, um, and when you say it back, it's a problem, you know. Those are the people that that wanna say things but they can't take it. So <laughs> oh my gosh. Um now I'm not talking about people who just make um comment here and there. Somebody can say something um, chastise or correct or say something and still love you to death. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about naysay people who want you eradicated <laughs> for <laughs> for whatever reasons or the other. So um, honestly, jokes apart, jokes apart, it's, you're not going to leave long with a set of people. It's a waste of time. Um, you know, anyway, anywhere you, anywhere, um, they are that you exist or whatever just need a, a pinpoint yourself and try to just remove yourself from that situation um yeah you're not gonna leave long with that <clears throat> third one is for me eating late at night <laughs> well this some people are never gonna stop this eating late at night i mean sometimes um yeah eating late at night is not good it increases your blood sugar levels. It causes a heart disease, of course, obesity, and it affects memory and efficiency for the day. So it affects your memory and efficiency for the day. Yes, it does. And so, yeah, so stop that bad habit. And the other next one is not getting enough exercise. So we all know that physical activity is, helps, you know, um, boost your energy, um, helps you keep in shape and stuff like that so not getting enough exercise can um blow you up you know can whatever whatever um so yeah you need to keep exercise to be in shape to have that way <laughs> people have hourglass figure a uh, figure a figure <laughs> they're not playing they either doing exercises at home or in the gym so yeah get exercise um get your energy levels up and just uh just do you just you know keep yourself healthy and alive and fit you know whatever and the last one i'm going to be going over is the eating too much salt eating too much salt according to research people eat about 1000 mg of sodium a day and some even even eat more than that and so um common foods you can find a lot of salt french fries and stuff like that and do you have kids who just won't stop eating salt and who just love eating salt and who just love consuming salt i have one no just one though one just one child but his salt intake is is crazy and so you gotta stop that keep it in check and blah 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 so 
I think I'll talk too much <laughs> right now. <laughs> We're going to take a short break and we will be right back. She's not going anywhere. This girl is not going anywhere. I still have a lot of uh, life to leave. So <laughs> don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, hey, I took a, I took a little nap. <laughs> oh, gosh, I was dozing away. <laughs> don't leave me. If you leave me for three minutes. The girl's gone slip, <laughs> slept off. <laughs> okay, so um, spotlight. Our spotlight for this week is um going to be um, SD. SD is a website that you can go and buy all sorts of things like body care. Um, I never, I remember visited SD really. Come to think of it, I never, I never heard about it. A lot of people saw products on it. Um, a product that I didn't even care and I didn't even want to, I didn't even know who it was or whatever. And so when I went on SD and I saw the name, I was like, oh, it just clicked. Oh, this is such a person this product. And I was like, oh, and it didn't even click to me. But um, SD is a lot of, that's where probably people you're buying cream from, people you're buying stuff from, that's probably where they didn't know their research. It's a very good place. I thought Amazon was everything. Um, but SD, uh, it's good too. It's a lot of people like especially like body creams and stuff they tend to sell more things there on SD as opposed to Amazon I mean I may be wrong but from what I've seen though and so that's a spot that E S T Y go check it for your home products for your body products for your whatever products that you'd like I you could go check it and um, just do your research though that's probably like you said where all the people that <laughs> I'm like, why am I spending all this money on body lotion where when <laughs> the people that I'm getting it from probably going there to do their research anyway? So yeah, just uh, you know, look for ways to save money, reduce your expenses, uh, you have to pay shipping fee, <laughs> I shipping fee because nah, just kidding. But anyway, of course people have to make their money whichever way. But yeah, so Spotlight is E-S-T-Y. I think um, a lot of things, uh, wonderful things in there. And, um, yeah. So, wrap, guys. You know, uh, please like, subscribe, follow, whatever. Just trying to, just trying to, just trying to leave people. That's all. That's all. All right. It was nice talking to you guys today though um yeah see you next time take care happy memorial so memorial holiday in the u.s this week long holiday happy memorial weekend enjoy a friend to a friend family and love and loved ones don't forget to check your heart health like i said before so many things in life are a joke so love and matters of the heart must be must be um on point right to accept um, take care guys see you soon bye